that they melt to get a nice saucepan. So you can see guys they are melting aluminium to make a nice saucepan. So that is how they melt from the fireplace right over there. So let me know in the comment section how you make your saucepan. Wow. So interesting guys. Today I'm, I'm here at a place in Fort Porto where they make saucepans locally. And I actually have shown you the process and uh, the whole process to, pro uh, to pro produce a nice saucepan. Very nice. So the other ones are the finished ones, and right now we are heating our aluminium right over there. <laughs> wow! Hello, everyone. Welcome back to UG Power to Fetch Six. And I thank you guys for always coming back to watch our videos in case it's your very first time. Uh, kindly subscribe to the channel. This is UG Part 56. So today, guys, I'm here uh, in Fort Portrait. I want to show you actually how these uh, local saucepan, uh, rather saucepans are made locally here in, in Fort Portrait. And uh, I'm going to show you how the process uh, they, they pass through making these saucepans and uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the finished saucepans, how they look like. So can the guys uh, drop a comment in the comment section and let me know in the, uh, how do you feel about these local, 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 local manufacturers? Uh, how, do, how do you make saucepans in your area? And if you need like a, a support or you need to, to get uh, something from this place, I will leave the number in this video's description and uh, if you want to look for them, you will hit the number and try to call them. So this is a place where they work from and these are the, uh, the saucepans that they have just made but they are bring like a finishing. So this, these are the, the saucepans. So let me show you, and this one is the cooking place, you can see, so they use this fan to blow like they, they, they cook aluminium in this container and then they, they place it. first put the soil into the finished saucepan and then you have to compact it so that the soil cannot uh, move out of it so, mm, this one eh? yeah so this 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 uh, uh, works like a design So that the soil cannot come out from that saucepan when he turns it the upside down. So, next step. So, next step is going to. Okay. So, this 
so he tries to reduce the soil you see the suspense to for just like a reserve This is the foundation where, uh, like, uh, we are going to turn our saucepan. I think um, it must be a bit slanting. A bit slanting. So it must be a bit slanting. You can see this is the size is somehow be uh, higher than the, than the other side, the level. So you, you turn it upside down. There must be a slope here. What is the use of that this slope? The slope? Mm. That hole mm. where we are going to pour our metal from filling up the soil. Okay, it flows to For this side. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's how we do it. Okay, so that is the first step. Yeah, boom, the hand. 
the video with. Yes. You can go with me. This is our box. The box that we're going to put here. Man. Okay, like when you feel it at first, the downside will not be compacted well. Eh? Yeah. Okay. So that's why you first put a little hmm. and compact. Okay. We use this one. Hmm. What is the use of that? To put a hole here. Where Make a shape of our wall that we are going to use as we pour in yeah. the red material. Okay. So we place it here where yeah. there is a slope. Okay, where there, there is a slope. Of okay. And the third and the last is the 
last. So as for now, we compact the whole area. Okay. Okay. First, we use to compact surrounding our, surrounding our design. Mm. So now we compact the whole. Okay. Meaning we are sealing. Yeah. Yes. So guys, let us know in the comment section how do you uh, make uh, the design of saucepans. So this is how they make these saucepans locally here in Fort Porto. And uh, I'm going to drop in the numbers of these workers in, the, in this video's description. So if you want to look for them, guys, can kindly hit them. Uh, they will teach you, or maybe you have something to inquire from them you will directly call them Put it. What what can happen? You may not manage to place it back in its shape. Okay. So when you don't place it back very well, you may not you may you, you are ready you to lose it. Okay. You may not get it. The good results after. Okay, not as 
outside the party, you, you center yourself like this. Okay. So that when you go down, your arms can be moving on your knees. Okay. So that you can keep in a straight line. In a straight line as yes. you lift up. So okay. that's why we stand like this. Yeah. You have to go slowly. Slowly, slowly. So that you cannot break the inside part. Okay. The inner part. So you do like this. Yeah. So that was our first soil we compacted inside. Yes. That is the shape. Mm -hmm. So guys, you can see how finally it looks like. So this is the uh, design of the saucepan. Our first soy that we put before putting this this one. So now we are going to remove this one. shape you see this mm. is the outer shape okay you can see the handles here yeah so when you join this shape the outer one and you join it with the inner one yeah you get a suspense okay. so when we are going to place this one back down mm. it will remain the, the space of the suspense will remain okay yes. outside the out the, 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 the outer is the other the, uh, the other one that is the, the outer part yeah. mm. and the inner part it makes one suspense they are not two yeah, they are, it's so it's only one yeah it's one okay this one makes the inner part yeah, this one okay. makes the outer part okay this one is the inner yes, the, inner, uh, the part. inner part this one is the outer, the outer part okay <laughs> so amazing guys i've never seen this before so we have to make it fine not leaving anything behind okay this and compacted soil, you remove them. You make your design very smooth. that they melt to get a nice 
so spun. So this is the fun. So this blows. So this blows the the air. So guys you can see how they are melting the aluminium there so that they, uh, they after melting them they will pour the melted aluminium into uh, the design that you have just made so very nice so that is how they melt all the motorcycle players <laughs> See guys, they are melting aluminium to make a nice saucepan. So that is how they melt from the fireplace right over there. Wow. So let me know in the comment section how you make your saucepan. Wow. So interesting guys. Today I'm, I'm here at a place in Fort Porto where they make saucepans locally and uh, actually I've shown you the process and uh, the whole process to, pro uh, to provide, produce a nice saucepan very nice so the other ones are the finished ones and right now we are hitting our aluminium right over there